throw your, the light out your spot on again. That's it. We're alive. We made it, yeah. Right? We made it. Well, you, uh... Oh, look at this. Shelby Ross, Shelby's cast and blast adventures on potholes, waiting for the ducks to arrive. Shelby, what's the, uh, in fishing, it's fish on. When you shoot a duck, what do you yell out? I'll call the shot. I'll yell, take them. That's your uh, cue to jump up and uh, shoot them out of the air. Whether you do or not depends on whether we praise you or uh, start giving you grief. Isn't there like some, there's no equivalent of yelling fish on when duck hunting and you hit a duck? I got it, even though your buddy's shooting too. <laughs> you could be Mr. I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right. Yep, open Saturday. It's been open a couple days. So, uh, primarily local birds, big mixed bag of species, lots of teal, lots of widgeon, some mallards. Not a, not a big push of a migration that'll come with the cold weather, but uh, there's plenty of birds in the area. It's just the, uh, the fog this morning is about the worst weather conditions we can possibly have, so we're uh, kind of waiting it out. Right. He's gonna retrieve the ducks, and if you uh, turn your back on him with a donut in your hand, it's gone. Nice, he looks like he's ready to go. Gun, get ready. Take him, take him, take him, take him, take him, take him. Take him. Oh, I shot that dude. No, he's not dead. He's not dead at all. Okay. Even if I don't have the... Nice wow. job! Good job. Good boy. Sit. Sit. The green wing teal. Oh yeah. Green wing teal. Fabulous eating bird, just not a whole bunch of meat. Aaron, you shot that? Very nice. It's your first duck. Front of you because that's part of your bag limit. 
First duck of the morning, fellas. First wow. duck of the morning. That is just too cool. <laughs> Ha <laughs> Do we scare them away a little bit with those shots or do they come right back in? It just, every day is different. Sometimes they're coming while you're shooting. That's all you can do to keep your gun loaded. So it's not a, you know, it scares them away in the immediate vicinity, but the, the noise really doesn't, uh, doesn't deter them that far of a distance, I guess. Sure. So it could be a couple minutes and they're back in. Uh, on Saturday, for portions of the morning, you couldn't keep your gun loaded. Wow. Wow, that is so cool. That is a widget. A widget. Great widgeon. Wow. The uh, feathers are uh, sought after by fly fishermen. Which, uh, like these ones in here? Or? I don't know. I'm not a fly fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shelby, thank you. This is already turning into an amazing morning. We've only got our first two. Well, we got 19 and, more to go. And you know, it, it shows. I haven't shot a gun in years and I don't think Aaron's either so if you don't have a lot of experience it doesn't mean you can't come out here and do this and uh, Shelby will get you right on these I was gonna say fish <laughs> he'll get you right on these ducks later in the day he'll get you on the fish Yeah, hold it out towards me. <laughs> Get a long That's a big there. bird. That's a big bird. <laughs> Still shaking. Got the bonking stick. We need to bonk this one over the head. Bring the neck there, Aaron. Bring the neck. I do, I do launch for all of the guided hunts as well. So I'm really enjoying uh, filming the cast and blast here today with Shelby Ross, but I say filming because uh, we belatedly realized that I'm born after January 1st, 72, is that right. correct? Yep. So is there's a hunter education requirement? In order to get a hunting license, yes to get my hunting license. And I didn't have enough time to get into hunter ed class to get that license, so um, uh, I'm filming today. There's uh, classes throughout the state and there's two portions to the, to the testing, a written portion that you can do online as well as a uh, shooting test at a range. So you can do half of it online and then make an appointment to go and shoot to qualify and then you can be licensed for sure. Sure, sure. And, and those resources are on the WDFW, right? There's Correct. the website, yep. there's links to hunter education requirements. And... There's also a, uh, a program for new hunters where you can be mentored by an experienced hunter. You can get a, uh, an exemption for one year if you uh, 
are basically sponsored by an experienced hunter who's had a license, I believe, the last three consecutive years. You can get a, a, a one-year free pass, basically, so you could hunt one season, see if you like it, and so forth. Right. And, and the state has, has created that program in order to uh, get more people interested in hunting and giving it a try. So. Sure. Right on. And we'll have some links uh, on the website to the WDFW resource page, which has some more information about hunter education. As usual, Shelby has hooked us up with some amazing food. We have some uh, jalapeno duck bacon poppers for lunch and some other stuff coming along. Um, always a good time with Shelby. Um, and just another reason to go book a trip, cast and blast. Yum. Yum. <laughs> so we're wrapping up duck hunting um, here with Shelby Ross on Potholes part of our cast and blast trip. Aaron, you've had a, a good morning, huh? Yeah, we picked up three right away. Three good ducks. This is Shelby's duck, actually. Um, I, I can't hunt, I can't shoot today because I haven't met the hunter education requirement. Uh, but I've been hanging out with the guys, uh, had some kebabs, uh, just great food, a lot of fun. Mike Carey's been here, he's got three ducks as well. And uh, we're getting ready to move on to the second half of our cast and blast walleye fishing on potholes. Coming up right after this. When you visit the potholes, be sure to check out Mardon Resort. In addition to camping and a hotel, Mardon has luxury cottages that have all the amenities and luxuries you or your spouse could ask for. Give Mardon a call for your next Potholes adventure. We stopped off after duck hunting at the Mardon Resort where we're staying, always a great place to stay. And we're getting ready to go out with Shelby for the second half of our cast and blast. Uh, chasing some walleye here at Potholes. Just kind of waiting for my ride. Here's our boat now. Pull right into the dock. Can't beat that. First class service here at Ross Outdoor Adventures. size fish and most importantly we got the skunk off. Absolutely. Nice. What do we got going Shelby? Slow death. Slow death on a bottom bouncer. So this slow death, this odd bent hook we've talked about before on previous videos. The key is sliding that night crawler right up the center all the way up past the collar putting the point out pulling it over the knot so it looks like that and that'll give you that corkscrew action through the water a couple miles an hour or? Uh, about 1.2 1 to 1.2 has been the magic number See that twist is the whole key if you don't have that twist, you're just dragging a dead worm around.
blast. That, net. that almost qualifies as a triple. Have that net. Woo! Fishy fishies. Here it's going. <laughs> <laughs> Smiley blade on this guy. On the smile blade. Yeah. One step up. Coming at you. Hot holes. You know, it's been one heck of a run, and uh, we've had a limit every trip since sometime back in August, and uh, it's been a pretty phenomenal year. Well, uh, our big fish today is 22, 23 inches. Mike Carey, I think, boated that one, and we got a couple others over 20. It's been a heck of a day. I think we're going to pack it up and start heading back, huh? Well, we're about out of worms, so that's perfect. <laughs> Holy cow, what a day! Potholes with Shelby Ross. Cast and blast. Oh. So Shelby, if uh, guys want to go cast and blasting with you, how do they get hold of you? Uh, the cast and blast trips are booked through Mardon Resort, 509-346-2651 or mardonresort.com. You can also uh, get hold of Shelby through Northwest Fishing Reports in the guide index and look for his fishing reports on the site. So again, Shelby, thanks a lot for taking us out. We'll see you guys on the water and online. That was my line. <laughs>